Hello, this is a very quick video to show you how you can use the John Dickinson Pinterest account to create your own mood boards. So, if you have a Pinterest account, you'll know how to log in, of course. If not, you can set up a Pinterest account. You can actually use um, your Facebook account or your Twitter account to log in, or you can choose to um, input a, an email and password to Pinterest. I've already got an account so I'm just going to log in via my Facebook account. I'm Gordon White by the way. Um, so here you see my Pinterest account open. If I just click on my own name you'll see these are my boards I've created already. Uh, but what we want to do here is create a new mood board. So if we go to add, um, create a board um, and we're going to call this one um, my um, there is a category already set up within uh, Pinterest for home decor, so we'll just give it that category, there it is, um, and we just create the board. So you see here, um, my new room, uh, nothing on it, so we want to start adding um, some ideas and some inspiration to the board. So to do that we're going to head over to the John Dickinson page. So all you want to do is in the address bar at the top here is put pinterest.com um, and then forward slash John Dickinson um, in the in the just following the dot com and you'll get to this page. Now you see we've got 19 boards here so there are 19 different categories. Over a thousand pins or so a thousand different items already on the page. I can assure you if you go to the showroom you'll see a lot more than a thousand items but this is just to give you um, a little flavour of what you can get at John Dickinson. So um, we want to start creating the board so let's start with say the sofas. So if you click on sofas you'll see it brings up um, lots of sofas for you to choose from. Uh, for speed I'm just going to create the uh, pin. So if you roll over the one you like you'll see a thing that says repin and if we repin, um, I want to put it into the board that I created called My New Room. So there we go. Um, I'm going to just pin it. It's that simple. There you go. Let's close that window down. Um, I want to choose now, let's see, we want to choose a chair. So we click back to the John Dick home page and we click on chairs. And you'll see here it brings up um, a range of chairs. Let's go for the lovely tartan kettle chair. So again roll over it, just repin. It should now pre-select the one that you last pinned into. So there we go, pin that. Um, close it down and let's see um, we want this lovely Fairford snuggler as well. So we'll repin that. Um, pin it here. There we go. So again, back to the home page. Let's see what else we can choose. We've got a full range of um, fabrics at John Dickinson. Uh, this is, believe it or not, just a very small selection of what's available. There are literally thousands to choose from. Um, let's just pick something fairly neutral and we'll pick that one. Uh, Repin. Um, go into my new room, pin it, and close it down. Um, and let's see, we we'll go, let's see if we can find something a bit bolder. So we'll go for this one here. And we'll pin that. Okay. Um, so that's the fabrics done. Um, as I say, there are thousands to choose from it. Joanne Dickinson. Um, wall coverings, again, um, lots and lots to choose from. Let's just for speed pick a one here and we'll pin that one. back to the home page. We've also included some paint colours. John Dickinson don't actually sell paint but one of the things that our interior designers will be happy to help you with is choosing them. Let's choose a fairly loud orange here. John Dickinson have their own interior designers. They're always on hand to help you with any of this but to you, this little Pinterest account is designed just to a bit of fun and hopefully give you a bit of inspiration. Inspiration. Uh, let's choose a lamp. Choose this one here. Um, 
pin it. There you go. So you get the idea. We're going through the selection, and there's, there's lots to choose from on the page. Um, and putting together our board, let's um, just to finish off, we'll choose a coffee table. So let's choose this one here. Pin that one. Pin it. There you go. Okay. So. Let's go back to our own account up here and click the top right hand corner, it takes you back to your own account and if we click on my new room you see all the things that you've selected. So what I want to do is um, show you one that a bit more on it that we did um, just to save time. So there you can see you build up a, a good picture of all the kind of things that you're going to add in your room. We've got ornaments, um, all sorts of bookcases, display cabinets. Um, we hope you'll have a bit of fun with it. We hope it will give you some inspiration. Um, if you want to talk to the interior designers at uh, John Dickinson, please feel free to um, give us a call or drop in and um, have some fun with the, the mood boards. If you create one and you like it, we would ask you to click the like button here. I've already done this one so it's not actually highlighting, but if you click this um, you can actually type in a comment and share your mood board with your friends on Facebook um, and maybe get some feedback from them. So have fun, hopefully we'll see you in the showroom soon and uh, if you have any questions or you want to speak to an interior designer please feel free to give us a call on 0141 644 1115 or you can visit the website at johndickinson.co.uk Bye bye